Now I'll show you the boundary of triangular voscultation. It is also very important fiber question. Just identify the muscles. This muscle is called trapezius. This one, trapezoid separate, trapezius. And this broad or wide muscle called latissimus dorsi. Latissimus means white and present dorsally. So it is called latissimus dorsi. Is the upper border of latissimus dorsi. Can you see the upper border of latissimus dorsi? And this trapezius is a lateral border or upper border. And here is the scapula medial border. This one is the medial border. And this is the triangle. So this triangle is bounded below by the upper border of latissimus dorsi, above medially by the lateral border of trapezius and laterally by the medial border of scapula. So this is the triangle. Triangle of auscultation because deep to this triangle is the lung and on the left side you will get another structure called esophagus. The fluid passing through the esophagus, if you keep a stethoscope here or on the left side, you will get both the breath sounds from the lung and also flushing of fluid to the esophagus, particularly on the left side. And no other muscles overlapping or covering this area, so it is very thin area, so the sounds from the lung very easily audible if you keep the stethoscope on this side. And if I go on the that side, you will see I am going on that side. Yes, here you see this is the scapula. Here is the scapula. If I keep the scapula like this, scapula, and this is trapezius, lateral border of trapezius, this is latissimus dorsi on this side. So, this is the triangle. The upper border of latissimus dorsi and here is the scapula, and this is the triangle. My this hand is the trapezius. This is this border, lateral border and upper border of the, my this hand is the latissimus dorsi and this is the medial border of scapula. So this is the triangle of auscultation where I am keeping this forcep, triangle of auscultation. So you will get on both sides but the left side, auscultation side, you will get another important visceral that is which is passing through this triangle of auscultation. You can uh, hear the sounds of fluids when passing through the esophagus but on both sides as because this is very thin and no overlap by any muscle on right side and left side both sides you will get the breath sound from the lung. So in, in uh, viva question if you are asked uh, what is triangle of auscultation you will uh, answer that it is a triangle on the back side of the thoracic wall bounded above by the lateral border of trapezius, below by the upper border of the latissima dorsi and above and laterally by the medial border of the scapula. And this triangle is not overlapped by any important structure, important muscles. So uh, only ribs are present and intercortical space are present on that side. So deep to which you will get the lung and breath sound can be uh, nicely audible if you keep a stethoscope on this particular side. And on the left side particularly, you will get another sound where the fluid is passing through the esophagus. So you will get a flushing sound when the fluid passing through this esophagus. So that's all for the triangular vasculation. You will draw a diagram. If there is a short note on this, you will draw a diagram of this, of this triangle and level the muscles and the scapula and you just identify the triangle and, that is the, and the importance of this triangle. So that's all for the triangular vasculation. Thank you. Thank you.